too big for us now, Dave. Oh. Now that you're going on these late-night American talk shows, you still happily get up in the morning and come and chat to us. Listen, I'm five foot four. I wish I were five foot five, but Mrs F always says you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but when I've, when I've been away and I've met loads of really interesting people and famous people like yourselves, and I'll go back home and I'll tell her about it, and she'll say, never mind all that. She'll say, do you want corned beef hash or cottage pie for your tea? <laughs> and it grounds you immediately. So despite but... all the attention and all the vast success, things haven't changed, really. You're still the same guy. You still want to help people. You still want to use your bank to try and help the community that, you're, that you live in. Exactly. What, I mean, what we've done recently, we've just given some money away from a, a school that called us and they needed books. And do you know why they needed books? Because there's a lot of places and a lot of people that still haven't got the internet because they just can't afford to keep up with mm. the payments now. So kids have been falling behind. Mm. So a school wrote to me in Cone and they said, would you buy some books? And I said, of course we would. So we've bought the books and the kids now are catching up. And that's one of the things that Banker Dave does. It, it, it looks at the real problems and takes care of it. So you've mm. got people who are hungry, kids were coming to school hungry, we've fed kids. And then on the other side of things, like we were talking about, banks are needing bailout out again. Mm. So you've got this really unlevel system. I mean, I remember you saying if, uh, if, uh, if you rob a bank, you go to jail. But if the bank, you know, robs you... If the banks you, rob you... If the banks rob you, uh, then the, then the they public get bonuses. gets held out. Yeah. They get paid bonuses. <laughs> I mean, it's a little harsh on banks, but, but, but you know, <laughs> to be fair, it's a good line. It's a little harsh on banks. But you're, you've always tried to prioritise to the people that won't lend, so you've lent to people that perhaps wanted IVF or, or many other things as well. But it's still a functioning bank, though, isn't it? It can still make money. It's not effectively a charity, albeit that you give so much. Much away. What we do is we've helped people get the best rate of interest on the high street. We then lend that money to people and businesses who can't borrow from the high street bank through no fault or own. We've less than 5% bad debt and then the profit, we pay the overheads and give the, way, the rest away. Mm. So it's not rocket science what we do and it's old-fashioned banking. But my worry is, I mean, the 60 banks a month closing at the minute. That's mm. one this morning and one this afternoon. Branches yes. Well. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 60 yeah. branches across the country, high street branches. What's going to happen for people like my mum in her 70s who can't use an app? Mm. She wants to deal with a pension herself and I can help, but she doesn't want me to help because she's fiercely independent. Mm. What happens about people like that? They need to go to a bank and talk about mm. financial affairs and the pension um, and whatever mm. they're trying to buy or loans and things. It's the advice. It's the personal advice and the experience of that area that you're losing, isn't it? Yes, um, For very those people so. that, that want it. Um, and, you know, you're talking about branches closing, but actual banks, there's a nervousness that we're looking at another crisis, banking crisis, a bit like the one that prompted you to start, the Bank of Dave. And when you look at Front Page of the Eye and other papers as well, tax cuts in 2023, so there'll be no tax cuts, because interest rate climbs to 14-year high. We've seen, you know, problems with uh, Swiss Bank. We've seen the problems with the bank in Silicon Valley. Are you nervous we're heading there again? Well, interestingly, my documentaries are out today on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Now, when I brought them out the first time round, we had this problem. Mm. Ten years ago, we had banks being bailed out. The timing is unbelievable. It's mm. now been put into 4K. It's now had all these extras added to it, but the banks are still in trouble. I mean, the Swiss bank there got 45 billion bailout. And then the SVB bank from America mm. and the UK arm, mm. they sold that for a pound. If I knew they were selling banks so cheap, I'd have saved millions of pounds in 10 years of my life. I'd have doubled the offer to two quid. <laughs> <laughs> and you've probably done a brilliant job with it as well. It's interesting, 4K, Bernie's going to be shown in 4K. That's right. You're in what does 4K, that mean? Dave. Does Let that me tell you what in... that means, eh? We're not messing about <laughs> now. Burnley is going to be in 4K. So the documentaries have been put into 4K. They've got the original producer and director, Ian Lilly, to come along and he put new parts into it. <gasps> and it's really exciting. But Burnley, 4K, it's going to make me look 10 years younger. <laughs> <laughs> if only it worked like that. I yeah, I'm always nervous about technology. In amongst this enthusiasm and passion you have for this business in your mm. community, there's this amazing showbiz story that's unfolding yeah. as well. As Kate says, you're about to go to the Hollywood uh, sort of uh, talk show circuit. You're going to have a big premiere out there in, in America. The Americans are suddenly going to get Bank of David on their cinemas. Are you ready for the fame? Well, like I was saying, you know, I, I'm not that bothered about the fame. I just, if I can put the UK, 
Burnley, Lancashire, in a positive light, for something good for a change. That's a good thing. I'm going to have a lot of fun out there. And I'm going to, outside one of the cinemas where the sign's up, I'm going to do a live chat back to you and I'll say, look at this! <laughs> <laughs> Proper. I mean, Rory Kinnear plays you, doesn't he? You always oh, say looks more like you he does. than you. He looks more like me than I do. <laughs> and the first time I met him, he knocked on my door, and this is absolute truth. He knocked on my door at home, I opened the door, he said, Dave! Meet Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe Hartley plays your wife. And, and the four of you have become mates. Yeah, Joe were on the phone to Nikki last night. You know, and it's just wonderful. Um, but he, he really does look like me. And originally in the casting, it was either going to be Tom or Rory. But Tom would have just looked too much like me. I mean, Tom Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Rory. we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you were just checking then, weren't you? I was you? thinking, Hank, which Tom is he talking about? Yeah. <laughs> because Piers Ashworth, who wrote The Bank of Dave, actually wrote Mission Impossible. He, that's what he wrote. Oh, so he had Tom on the phone on speed dial. Well, there were probably that. not enough stunts, <laughs> was there, we, for Tom Cruise to sign up? Bank of Dave 2, the one where it's sort of Mission Impossible actually saving the banking, uh, the world of banking oh, yet again. Yes. Get Tom in on that one. I should, I should ask. I should say, is there ever going to be another that day? Why not? Mm. It's still battling. He's still doing a brilliant job as well. Have you got one tiny bit of advice for people watching that are fearful? Is there one thing they can do right now in all this situation? I think what I would do, I mean, inflation's going through the roof. Interest rates, they're paying you less than inflation. Cash is becoming worth less. Not worthless, worth less. Mm. I, I would have a really good look at what you're paying. So you've got credit cards, you've got mortgages. Sometimes you can pay a little bit extra off your mortgage without paying a fee. Your credit cards will be more than any interest you're going to get. So pay them down. Look at the way that you're spending your money. Every pound you save is a pound you don't have to earn. And, and while there is still a high street branch, go in mm. there and see if they can help out mm. by just getting them payments down because we're in for a rough 12 months. Mm. You know, I mean, Rishi Sunak, last week he spoke about me in Parliament and he parliamentary did. questions. Mm. And he stood up and he said, it's towards this model the world should move. And that's really interesting. And he said he was going to send his Treasury Secretary and the following day, sure enough, he did exactly what he said he was going to do. The Treasury Secretary rang me up and said, I want to come and visit you. Great. Great. So you're now consulting for the Prime Minister in the well, Parliament? Well, he's coming to Burnley. Quite Centre right of the too. universe. <laughs> Quite right too. And you're taking a little bit of Burnley to Hollywood. They're going to love you, Dave. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. It's Thank always you. lovely to have you here Real and pleasure. to celebrate what an extraordinary feat that you're achieving. And, and uh, can't wait to see Burnley in 4K. Tonight! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs>